Hey guys, I'm Keetan and welcome back to another video of Keetan Azar Innovation. This is the first video of Excel and it is a quick course which is gonna start up with the basic features of Excel such as sum, make, uh, count, minimum, maximum, average features, okay, making a chart using the subtotal feature, okay, removing duplicates, identifying duplicates using the conditional formatting and removing the duplicates using the feature in the data tab data menu okay and sort and filter using the custom sort lists and the man, uh, alphabetical order manual sort uh, sort options okay chart in the charts thing we have pie charts pie chart and a by uh, pie chart as well as a bar graph okay so this is gonna be a quick and simple course which is gonna be very interesting so let's get into the course so here we have our excel this we are gonna cover a very few things not much it's gonna be a bit short but informative so here we have our cell row columns rows etc now first we are gonna learn the sum feature okay so we are gonna learn this by a very basic thing it is like um yeah it is like uh we're gonna create a expenses type for the month for a few things and do it so let's start creating them so okay here i'll create as expenses expenses okay for the month of january february march I'm gonna just create a three months thing, a total for each time. That's good. Okay. Okay. So first, I'll give some like grant. Um, suppose funnel for petrol. Yes. Okay. See, instead of gas, I'll give it as EMI. Okay, and here again, uh, something. Okay, so, okay, so that's great, right? Google. Okay, we'll make the columns a bit big. Okay, All right. Like we'll select everything from here and just give it in between, which looks good. This part will just take its a value, so we'll keep it at the corner. That's great, right? Okay. So suppose we're right. It's ten thousand. Okay. So okay. Select this, okay, and select this. It's in the number format. Just click on that and select this currency, right? It's great. Okay, let's just customize it a bit. Okay, this looks great. Just drag, okay, great. Okay, here is a triangle, a small rectangle. Just select that and drag it. I mean, okay, that copies all the values. So for February and March, the rent will be the same. So, okay, great. Suppose you want uh, for all the things, the rupees symbol should be automatically. Then click here, this, the format meter, double click, okay, and just select all this again, all this, okay, all this. And all right, 
that's great. Okay, then just press escape. Okay, that's great. Okay, so yeah, I'll just give some values as phone bill, thousand rupees. Yeah, it's working. So you give your own random values. I'll give my very own random value. So let I've given the values for everything. I hope you've done the same. So we are gonna make this table look a bit good. It looks so ugly and it's hard to read. So yeah. So I've selected this here. Click on the condition. No, format as table. Okay. So we yeah, format as table. And here I'm gonna select the shade of this. So great. Okay, range has been selected. Click on my table has errors and click okay. Okay. So what are these boxes? It it doesn't look good. So just click here the fill filter button and it's done. Right. Okay. We'll make this the rules a bit bigger so that it becomes easy to read then we'll make this a bit broader okay okay great yeah this looks perfect so yeah here we are going to find the sum of all of them. So, for the amount of January, wait, time equal to sum. Press the tab key. Select the cells from C4 to C8. Yeah. And close the bracket at the end of total is 20,000 but I have a question do we need to do that manually Excel we have a function next which can do it automatically so let's have a look at that we'll delete this away okay and let's go to the formulas tab select the auto sum press it oh it's done it but this the formula has been changed right that's great it's awesome okay great yeah okay oh look like the formula has gone wrong press the auto sum that okay great yeah okay again do the auto sum again do the auto sum that we'll do for these four okay Now we'll, we'll suppose given. Now we are going to know the max. How to find the maximum, minimum, and average? So okay, yeah. So we are going to find the maximum, minimum, and averages. Eat from the eight months actually, not this one. So yeah, okay. I'll just give it as okay. Max in average algorithms. Okay, that's your great. Now we'll select this cell. 
written like this. Take this page. Take the link. This makes it a drawer. That looks good. Okay. Then let's select three. Okay. Um, cell color will select it as this. This looks good. Good borders. All borders. Wow. This looks fabulous. Right? Okay. So, yeah. And here yeah, we're going to type equal to max. Okay. Select this tab. Okay. And select the cells at the end of wow. This is obvious. Right? Okay. This looks too ugly. I mean, this doesn't suit it. So let's use the same thing. Format painter, double that, which we've learned during the something. Yeah. Okay. So for the minimum. Okay. While we select this, okay, I'll be formatting to okay, wait. Right. Let's make this currency format. Right. Take the format window, add everything. Then okay. So the minimum type equal to men. Okay. Men. And select this. Oh, okay. Okay. For every type equal to every. And select all this with the enter box. Then we don't need to type it again. Remember, in the sum, we had a small rectangle box. You just have your right mouse, I mean, the left mouse button held and move the cursor. Down. It's done. Minimum. Okay, so this much itself for this it was very, I am sure it is very short, but very informative. Now is the time for the real fun. We're going to create a few a pie chart and a bar graph. It's going to be very easy. Too easy and very quick. Let's start making it. Okay. So. So. Okay. Let's select this. All three months and the export. Could be better if you select this part, okay? And let's go to the insert. Select this bug column or bar chat, okay? And okay, gray, yeah, okay. Pretty looks great, but. Let me take something which looks good like this. Right? This we have much cool axles to gray, literally. Wow. This is just awesome. Let's select something like this. Let's give a title as expenses. Yeah, we'll create a 2D chart though. This is too great, but doesn't this look a bit hard to read? Right? So, you don't need to do everything again manually. Just here, we're going to change chart type. Okay. 
go to column itself. Okay. Wait. Oh, everything looks great. We're literally confused what to select. But, okay, this looks awesome. It's done. Great, right? Now, it looks too clumsy. It, it looks punished here itself. Okay, let's have a close look at the chart once. So, yeah, here is like the rental by thousand. Whoa, this chart looks too great, but having it here in the same sheet looks too ugly. Too ugly. We can't understand what is what. So, let's move it into other chart quickly. And easily. So, so in order to move that, let's select the chart. Go to chart is right. Okay, before that, create a new sheet. Okay, rename it as bar graph. Okay, select the bar graph here. Chart design. Move chart. Object then click on bar graph. Okay, this looks great. But where this grid lines, it doesn't look good. Let's remove the grid lines. Click on this, everything will be selected. Then go to the view. Click on the grid lines option. Wow, this looks great. Let's enlarge it. Okay, great. It's hard to be correct. Okay, let's make it a bit up. I'm just making it a bit worse. Yeah, this looks perfect. Right? Okay, right. Okay, right. Yeah, this is just mind blowing. Wow. Now let's create a pie chart. That let's create a new sheet and keep it from before only. Wow. Done. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Again. Let's select this. Right. Again, the data. Go to insert. Now, here select the pie. We have a number of options. But we're not going to use them now. Okay. Um, select a 2D pie. The standard pie looks good. Right? Yes. Select the array. We've selected for the all months. Why have we got only for January? Oh God, what have we done this? Okay, so again, select the chart. Okay, click on select data. Yeah, okay, all right. If you wanna get for February, how can you? Okay, suppose if you select the switch or column, we get for red. Why? But how do we get February? It's very easy. Select the chart and click on select data and okay. Move this. Okay. Select this and keep the control key pressed and select this. Okay. Or else we'll do a thing. Keep the control held from the very starting. Yeah. This looks great for the February. Wow. This looks great. But wait, how can you understand what the exact value is? Suppose this, you can hover over your mouse in the Excel to know the value, but if you want to print out, you can't, if you hover your finger, nothing will be seen. 
I wish that would be real, but it's not. So click on add chart element. Okay, data labels outside and this looks good. Wait, do you want to get the percentage instead of this? Okay, select one, right click, format data labels. Yeah. Okay, so click on percentage. We don't need the value anymore. We need the percentage. Percentage is always good. Why? That's great. Okay, we test out something again. Suppose if you're gonna go like this, this line connects with this. Okay, that's awesome. Okay, let's set a chart time. This one's always, I feel it's just awesome. Right? Then I can move chart, a object is pie chart done. The pie chart will get it, got it. Again, the same as the other cells view, real lines done. This over here. Okay. Great. It's done. This looks awesome. Wow. Other things like you can change this colors, like. Will look awesome. Why don't we select this? Wow, this is just my blue egg, right? So, yes, that's it for the charts. Good job if you have done this correctly. Well, So now here we are going to learn how to identify the duplicates using the conditional format and remove them manually and another method to automatically remove them using a function in the data tab. Okay, this is a list which you made. You'll get the list link in the description. I mean the file link. It will, it will, it will be my website. From there, I'll give you I'll give you the links for, for the all the sheets from where you can go and download them. Okay, these all will be in the form of a Google Sheet, so you can download them and do them. Okay. So to identify that duplicate using conditional formatting, in the home tab, select this conditional formatting. Okay. Okay. First, select the slash control shift U. Again, okay, conditional formatting. Highlight cell rules, duplicate values, duplicate values with okay, that looks good. Okay. So the 1290, 14, 26, all those. Okay, why don't we make this easy by just deleting this? It's manually, right? Next, we are gonna learn how to remove them using the or using bottom i mean using the function okay so yeah just select the lash okay no we're gonna use something different now okay so just select the lash copy it okay paste it somewhere where you want to line Okay, then go to the data tab, select this, remove duplicates, okay, select okay, okay, here are all the things, that's how quick and easy it is and I'm sure this better will help you a lot, okay.
so here we have our with the ledge we are going to use the sorted filter thing okay remember the big boxes like things yeah okay so this is the thing this is the table first we'll sort everything suppose january 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 everything is mixed up right it's too difficult to read that it's quite a lot of it's a lot difficult it's a lot okay so so we'll go to the data thing okay let's go to the data data tab then here select the here the sort section okay select the select the slash then okay so slash okay select sort click on sort as a to z okay okay right that doesn't work right just april in all the things which isn't quite good so we can use this gen but excel has some pre inbuilt lists in it and you can add more okay so click on the sort okay so here when you select it as here you'll have sort by month okay here you can see that it is month okay wanted in month okay one cell values here order go to custom lash again okay. yeah yeah uh so you can select it as right as it can be month you can create a new list so, like this everything list it good okay so that is it okay okay everything has been sorted here okay we'll have a look at okay the lash looks pretty good right okay so this is what next how to but hey i want to see only for july okay july 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 what is this okay here do i need to check the manual cost item seller like a short table of july looks good okay so select everything again okay yeah. so after selecting have a feature called filter click on the filter this big boxes like don't, you, don't worry that what is this sort of this big boxes every day okay you want for month okay select the month okay they select all select july done get everything with july this is quite damn easy too easy you want for july as well as for april okay you get for the april too okay you want to sort it for according to bias okay i want it for smith or Reynolds, you select Reynolds. I've got everything for Reynolds that we categorize for, for each month January, Feb, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, November. These were the months under Reynolds by a purchase. This looks pretty easy, right? Too easy. This is just awesome. This feature can save you a lot of time searching for, suppose you can't. You don't have the option to use a sort and feature thing. You have suppose three, four years data, 2016, 17, 18, and yet for 2015 January or 2016 January, because you can sort them or for one or two years like that. Just it is like that. Okay. now we are gonna 
to use the subtotals function again. Okay? In this, without using subtotals, there's something which is separate from this in the sort function thing, which we, I mean, the sort thing, okay, A to Z tag, which we've, which we've done there, uh, and A to Z thing, okay. So, okay. So as usual, this okay. Select in the data type only. Select this. The second B two control shift view A to Z. Okay. Sort. Okay, that's done right. Okay. And select this and that thing. Go to subtotals. Okay. Change it at each change in product at sales. Okay. That everything like this is done. Even you grab, grab to do this is too quick, right? You format it like something that's okay. I'm not gonna format it, okay? I'll explain you this functions, okay? So, like this, you get the subtotals of all the things, okay? Okay, just select two, three is for all. One is there for the grand total, like the just like that. This is quick and too simple, and might be helpful for you. As you should, you'll get the file in the description below. You'll have my website from there. I'll give you a link of a Google Sheet. Download that and start doing with me. Okay. So that's it in this course guys. I hope you enjoyed it much and it is very interesting. I'm sure for that. Okay. And in the next course, I'm gonna create a course on the database features like the sum, the count, the average, like that. I'm gonna explain about that in my next course. I'm not sure in how many days will it come. I'll try to make it as soon as possible. I'm sure and you might have got the all the file links and are working at in the from the description in my website okay if there's any error with the file or if you have any queries feel free to contact me at contact me at the email contact at kethanazari.innovations.co.in you get it also in my channels about page so stay tuned for the next video and make sure you like share and subscribe